Hey, good morning, Sardis Lake Baptist Church. Hope you guys are doing good. Hope everybody's doing well. And uh, I sure do miss you all and certainly do wish that uh, me and the family could be there with you all today. And uh, But I hope and pray that you guys have a wonderful missions conference. And I and, uh, just wanted to stop by for a couple of minutes and just share with you our heart and uh, how things have been going. Uh, I know that uh, 2020, I don't, I don't know about you all, but I I know that on December the 31st, 2020, at midnight, I am going to wave goodbye to 2020 and uh, be thankful and grateful that it's gone. And, uh, and uh, it's just been a year for everybody. Everybody that I know and see uh, is just dealing with a mess right now, and we are no different. Uh, it's been a very tough year. Um uh, for our ministry. It's been a tough year on our family. Uh, you guys know, I mean, our me personally and my mom and my dad passed away uh, back uh, April. Mom died last year, 2019 in April. Dad died in uh, November. I've had three uncles die. I've had 10 friends, uh, close friends that have passed away and uh, in the last uh, 16 months. Uh, our daughter Ashley has been dealing with uh, seizures. Um, uh, man, just the course of COVID, the unrest in our country. And so anyhow, a uh, lot of mess going on right now. But in the midst of all that, it's amazing that God still has just built this fire down inside of me. Even with our schedule being canceled this year, there's still this fire inside of me that wants to just continue to run out there and just continue to preach the gospel and to share the gospel. And we have been home a lot more this year because of our schedule being canceled. And so the Lord has given me a unique opportunity. For the last 19 years, we have been traveling about 240 nights a year, um, uh, literally been keeping that pace for 19 straight years. But we've been home and we've helped our home church a lot more this year. And been a part of that, and uh, and and so that's been. A, it's almost kind of like our family has been on a furlough, and uh, I've never done that ever. Uh, but it's kind of been like that for us this year, and um, and so anyhow. But we are finally getting back on the road, Lord willing. In fact, to, uh, in fact, as you're watching this video, I'm probably driving right now uh, on my way to Abingdon, Virginia, and we're going to be there to uh, to preach and uh, of course to sing. Uh, with Beulah Baptist Church and going to be on the road for the next three weeks. I'll be with Brother Zach Johnson, one of your all's uh, missionaries as well, be with him at the end of the month and I'm um, going to help him with some things and then off 10 days and then back on the road in October and then we'll be back on the road in November as well. And then Christmas time, we've got 30, excuse me, 20 Christmas concerts that we've got lined up in December. And uh, last year, uh, we fed over 400 families in the Chicagoland area, including working with Pacific Garden Mission. Uh, we were also with the First Baptist Church of Hammond. Many of you might remember that church or where Brother Jack Hiles was at for years. Uh, we were able to help their rescue mission last year with tons and tons of food. We helped uh, women's shelters, rescue ministries. I mean, we did all that last year at Christmas. And this year, our goal is to hopefully feed 500 families. It's going to be a massive undertaking. People are going to need help more than ever because of COVID. And so anyhow, so we're uh, going to be doing that as well. And so uh, Sarah is getting married in May next year on May the 21st. So the Sampsons and their ministry as far as singing um, is going to change. But we're, I told Brother Kevin that we're uh, trying to work it out to where possibly Brother Travis Sharp's daughter, Sarah, uh, may be coming on the road and singing with me and Ashley. And so we're working towards that as well. So a lot of changes coming up for us. A lot of changes have been happening. Um, but that's still, I'm, I'm kind of like, uh, kind of like, uh, Jeremiah then he, when he said there was a fire that was shut up in his bones and, uh, that's where I'm at right now. And so I'm just praying for our country, praying that all this unsettledness would get out of the way and, uh, just praying that God would give us a chance uh, to get back out on the road and do what God has called me to do almost 20 years ago. And uh, I'm thankful and grateful uh, to be a part of it. So I'd love to be able to come back by there and see you all soon. I certainly miss everybody there. We certainly love you all. We cannot thank you all enough for continuing to support us, praying for us. And, uh, and I just want you guys to know the same passion 
that uh, when I presented my work to your church a couple of years ago, that same passion and desire is still down inside of my heart. There's not a thing that has changed there. And uh, just dealing with a lot of mess right now. Solomon said in, in Ecclesiastes chapter 3, there's a time and a place for everything. And right now we are just in a time right now uh, of uh, unsettledness uh, with uh, with our kids, uh, dealing with some sickness and some issues, Ashley dealing with some things. and uh, But we're getting through it, and God's going to get us through it. And God is faithful. God is good. God is kind. God is our refuge. He is an ever-present help in a time of trouble. And so anyhow, I, I get choked up and start crying. But I love you all. Thank you for supporting our family. Thank you for being so kind to us and so good to us. And I love you all so much. And and uh, I'll pray that your conference is the greatest one that you've ever had, okay? Praying for your revival next week with the Phillips family. Brother Kevin, we love you. Thank you so much for being my friend. And thank you all for supporting the work, God. It's a place to my heart. I love y'all. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.